what did you call the podcast and you know what were initial reactions in, in getting it out it's called south pod so anybody <laughs> watching can subscribe and i'm afraid again like a lot of things that jane and i do if we we were having a cup of coffee going what do we call it there were about three options <laughs> and we went with that one so it, it has kind of stuck but it resonates with people and they they liked it um i i think the point that you're making about education is a really good one it's that you're learning but you don't know you are and it's something like 40 percent of people listen to podcasts for that very reason so aside from entertainment and all of the other things that we listen to our podcasts for education is a big one and that's particularly um amongst young Younger listeners, my four-year-olds particularly use it for that reason. And when you look at the profile of our staff, that's exactly what we need to do. So where the pre-COVID, where we used to maybe train people in PPE, how you put it on and take it off, they were all in a big room. Of course, we can't do that anymore. Social distancing has blown that out of the window. So we had to use this as a channel to say the same things, but in a different way. Um, and the other thing that has happened over the year with COVID is people are absolutely sick here and if we're all sick of hearing hands, face, space, keep your distance, don't go out, stay at home, all of that, the messaging becomes tired. But what the podcast allows you to do is to tap into those experts within your organisation and you've got a different voice communicating the same message. So it just brings that extra perspective to it. You're able to look at it from a different point of view. And people love to listen. I mean, we, I don't know where you, I do the ironing and I have a podcast on, or for those healthy people that tend to climb hills or, you know, go running or whatever that might be. I'm not one of them. But it's it's that ability to just listen in at a time that suits you. It's the, it's the Netflix behavior. You can on demand, pick your podcast, decide when you're going to listen to it. And people binge. I mean, I binge on it with a big pile of ironing. I've maybe got three of them on in the background. So I think that as surprising that's what has happened with ours and the feedback from staff has been great and um, that this is a thing so it has grown and grown over the year and we've become more accustomed to doing them and I really I, I don't see us stopping it.